Welcome back. Uh, let's look at a transportation model in which we're doing an optimization. Uh, this is the basic scenario given in the, the model. We have uh, two locations that have a surplus of cars and four different locations that have a need for cars. And you can see the two with the surplus have 16 and 18 respectively for 34 cars. The four that need cars each need 10 or 40. So notice that we have a need for more than what we actually have available. And we want to at least give five each to each of these uh, four locations. This is what it costs to transport one car from say location one to location three is $54. Graphically we can visualize it the way that we see it here in that uh, from location one each one of these arrows represents a decision of how many to ship from location 1 to 3, number from 1 to 4, and so forth. And uh, It would be a little bit messy to show the other arrows, but in a similar way we'd have these four arrows from location 2 going to 3, 4, 5, and 6. And on each one of those arrows it would have a, a number corresponding to the cost uh, per car. And what we're trying to do is uh, ship these 34 cars to these four locations at least five to each location in a way that minimizes this uh, total transportation cost. So the the model is set up on, on this worksheet and this is the, uh, what we could do and you can see that we already have the cost information here recorded for location one and two on those rows is how much is available and within the columns are the minimum and maximums we want to send to these four locations so within these four cells are our decisions of how much to send uh, let's just put say fives in there uh, to begin with just to give us some numbers uh, to do our calculations and so if we were to send from location 1 5 to each of these 4, then the shift would be just the sum of this row. And we could just copy that to here. In the same way, if, uh, if we shift from location 1 and 2 to location 3, 5 each, then the number received at location 3 would be the, the sum of these two cells. And then let's copy this over. Okay. Now, and I see a, a mistake here. Let me fix this. The, uh, we want at least five, but a maximum of ten uh, to, uh, to be received in these locations. Uh, the cost would be 54 times, say, 5, plus 24 times this 5, and so forth for those 8 cells, or equals some product of these 4 cells, which are the, the coefficients of what it costs to transport one car, times the number of cars transported, And so with, with this plan of 5 each, then this is our total cost. Now let's optimize this using the solver. So from the data solver, our objective is that we want to minimize total cost. Select the minimization. Our changing cells are this range of cells here. How much to ship the, the from two pairs? constraints. Because we have uh, fewer available to ship than what we need, we want to, to ship all that are available. And so I want the shift to be equal to the available. And then let's add a constraint for the, uh, the number received. I want the actual number received to be less than or equal to my maximum 
but I want the actual number received to be greater than or equal to my minimum. So we have three constraints. We check the box for uh, make the unconstrained variables non-negative. Select the uh, simplex LP. Solve. Found a solution. And so this is telling us how much to ship from one uh, to each of these. So we ship 10 and 1 and 5 from location 1, 9 and 9 from location 2, shipping out all that we have available, uh, receiving this number here, and you can see that the minimum and maximums are satisfied. Uh, that's it. Thanks. See you next time.